Fortnite took a lot of hard work to get to where it is today. It's not the same game that was first introduced to us back in 2011 at the Spike Game Awards. No, Fortnite had a lot of changes to its overall development to reach the masses, and from a musical development point of view, they needed someone with experience to make their game's music more appealing to their audience. Enter Ron DePrisco, a music composer who would go on to provide music for multiple game studios, TV shows, and music films. He first started playing the piano at the Royal Conservatory of Music from a young age. From there, he started making his own music with a piano, a computer, and a MIDI sequencer. He would play material that was inspired by Neezer Ebb, Ministry, Skinny Puppy, and Depeche Mode, just to name a few. As he got older, his music started to change into more of an electronic type of sound instead of the grittier sounds he used to work on. One day, he popped in the game Wipeout and was blown away by the music of Tim Wright. The music was very similar to what he was already working on, so he decided to research into game companies and sent out demos on cassette tapes to game developers. From this, the audio director of EA Games contacted him and hired him to produce some tracks for the Need for Speed series. From that, he would go on to do SSX, SSX Tricky, Gears of War, Unreal Tournament 3, Mass Effect 2, Big Little Planet 3, and Paragon, just to name a few. Eventually, he would be the person tapped for making the music for Fortnite. By this time, he had already established himself in the video game music industry and already had provided great music for Epic Games and their other titles. The original game of Fortnite was darker in color and had more of a serious tone environment. Certain characters such as the Constructor were slower and many of the staple building mechanics that we see today were either not yet invented or were completely different. From seeing the game's original design, plan, and gameplay, Rom was able to create an eerie, mysterious soundtrack for the first seasons of Fortnite. When the beta came out, everyone loved the gameplay and the music. The fans and gamers would mention how the music added to the feeling of the mysterious environment that they found themselves in, and the music ROM made here would define what Fortnite's undertone was and still is to a certain extent today. This isn't to say that ROM did all the work himself. There are others who did help him make some of the music scores, most notably in Season 3 when they hired Marco Patrami and Pinar Toprak to make the music sound more energetic. Ventrami spoke with Rolling Stones and said regarding the music, You know, the monsters are coming and you have to defend and shoot them. But it has more of a family type of feel to it. I think the fact that you're not just defending yourself, but you're also trying to save other people? All these things are really important elements musically. Because music is the emotional undercurrent of the story, and the player has to feel that. This is why you can hear the music change from this... To this. Fortnite also reached out to Chris Velasco to make all the scores for Season 7 including the Storm King music. His most notable work is from titles like God of War 3, Darksiders, Borderlands, and Mass Effect. Rom building the template for others to create their own scores has allowed him to move on to compose music for other video game titles. He also still makes his own albums and music, and his latest album, Space Time Miscalculation, is on his website today. Hey guys, I hope this was enjoyable for you to watch and I hope you learned something like I learned something creating this video. 
Uh, I definitely learned some cool new things about Fortnite music and the actual composers and people who went behind making it. So if you want to check out the links as to where I got my information from, it'll be in the description below. Feel free to check me out on my Twitch, where we have a 24-7 radio station. Also, check out my YouTube channel that has a 24-7 radio station that syncs as well. I hope you guys really do enjoy the video. I'm going to be making more like these, and uh, have a good week, you guys. Peace.